that's uh, a highlight of my uh, racing visit when I get to talk to you about cycling because you tell a different story. What have you got to tell me today? <laughs> Same old, actually. There is nothing new with me. Um, down a few bits of cartilage, up a bit higher on GC than I normally am at this time of year. So, uh, yeah, staying out of trouble. It's actually quite nice, but um, I've still got to get over the Wollonga Hill, and that's always been a booby hill for me. I've never done well up there. So... Um, Look out for an epic collapse tomorrow. An epic collapse? <laughs> That's talking well, yourself up. Well, it's like to not get ahead of yourself. Classic New Zealand move, never get ahead of yourself. Bit and, of humility, uh, that's your style. Well, every time I've tried to do the other side and I'm going to rip the legs off, I end up with my own legs off and going out the back door. So yeah. just try and be a bit more conservative this year. Um, I think the, the key is not to follow Richie when he goes, because that's always been a, a death trap. So, so you just wiser now. ride your own uh, tempo? Is that what you're talking well, about? Not, I mean, you still have to go when they go, but you don't have to go when Richie goes. And, uh, and when Richie, you know, because he, he he just blows the doors off, you know, he goes and then you think you're on him and then he goes again and, and then if you do lose his wheel, which is inevitable more or less, you find yourself in the middle of the road and then eventually the group comes past you and you can't really get on the back. So I think the best thing is you've still got to follow the guys, but you don't necessarily have to try and follow Richie and you've just got to hope that uh, that he does blow up and you can you can make a move from the, from the pillow or from what's left of the pillow. Okay. We've documented your stitch issue for a couple of years now. You've had pretty big uh, work done in the off-season. Is it uh, netting the effect that you wanted? Uh, not yet. Um, but I've been you know, in, in frequent contact with the surgeon and uh, it is one of those things that does take time, you know, because although the cartilage that was irritating the nerve is gone, there's still a lot of, I guess, trauma and, and, and the nerve still flared up and there's swelling and it's... You know, it's, I mean, it doesn't hurt me riding around, but, you know, you, you're aware of it. Um, and so you still get that same nerve pain, but it, it will settle down. And just hopefully sooner rather than later, because, uh, yeah, I mean, dragging yourself to the Giro with the side stitch, I mean, it's already hard enough. I don't need that. So I'm, I'm optimistic it'll go before then. And, and I mean, so far, it's shit, this race, it's been all right, but tomorrow we'll find out. All right, well, I know that uh, if nothing else, I know I cheer you on and uh, you give me an enthusiasm for cycling that I don't get from some other riders, so thanks very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's always good to know there's someone out there yelling. And actually, that's one thing I'll say on a new story, is how awesome it is here for me with how many New Zealanders come here. I didn't realise this was... I mean, I know there's a great support base back in New Zealand, but I feel like they all come to Tour Down Under and we've just had waves and I'm walking through the village. And uh, That's pretty exciting for me, you know? Like, we don't, don't get that in other parts of the world. I mean, we get a lot of Kiwi support, but... Yeah, over here it's pretty, uh, pretty overwhelming support, so hopefully I can do something for them. It's good to have someone uh, speak in your language. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, right. mate. Just